Yo, what's up everyone? Buzzy Beth here today. Let's learn how to make a tool selection using a GUI. So we're gonna create a GUI where you can, you know, uh, depending on what's available, you can get a tool from this GUI. So inside of starter GUI, add a screen, GUI, a frame. I'm gonna go ahead and add a UI corner in all the objects that I add inside of this frame. So inside of this frame, let's go ahead and add three text buttons. So these three text buttons are what I want to select for my tool. So it's gonna be the blaster, the honey stick, as well as the rifle. And then go ahead and make sure you rename your text buttons to the corresponding tool that you're using or whatever you want. We'll be referencing that later in our script. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add three remote events inside of replicated storage, one for each tool. So one for the blaster, the honey stick, as well as the rifle. Awesome, so once that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and head back to our screen UI inside of the frame. Let's go ahead and add a local script. Now we have a few variables which references the text buttons as well as the replicated, uh, sorry, the remote events. We're gonna go ahead and set it so that anytime a player clicks the text button, then the remote event is going to be fired. And it's going to be like that for all three of the remote events. Okay, let's move on to our last step, which is adding our server-sided script. So head over to server script service, and let's go ahead and add a script. So for our variables again, we're gonna go ahead and reference the remote events inside of our replicated storage for all three of our remote events. We're gonna go ahead and do an on server event function. So when the player triggers the remote event in our local script, then what's going to happen is depending on which text button that they are clicking on, then the tool, the corresponding tool of that text button is going to be cloned inside of our player's backpack. So for, in this case, if the player clicks on the blaster text button, then the blaster, which is placed inside of our server storage is going to get cloned and placed inside of our player's backpack. It's going to be like that for the honey stick as well as the rifle. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it out inside of our game. And then you'll see our UI right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blaster UI and you'll see how right away I get a blaster. And it's going to be like that for the other two text buttons. So for my honey stick, as well as the rifle. How cool is that? So as always, if you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website. Link in the description down below. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.